What it do, surprise, shoddy crew, and hey, my daisy loves happy pink monday not just happy monday happy pink monday this is your reminder to register for group coaching i will be having it every sunday in january okay at 3 p.m central standard time register now get the christmas package now while you can get the december pricing now while you can because it will increase at the change of the new year okay second thing if you can understand the words for kingdom marriage and apply them to your kingdom marriage, to you and your spouse, we should be able, you should be able to take those words and apply them across the board in any situation, okay? Especially your family. Kingdom marriage, this kingdom marriage journey has been a blessing because you're learning how to love, right? And that's what we're supposed to do, period. Not just love our spouse, not just love people who love us, but love everybody okay so i want to encourage you this monday morning this beautiful monday morning the sun is shining it's so nice outside i want to encourage us to do just that if you could love your spouse in that manner love your family in that manner i think it's easier because it's like um maybe not even easier but it's like you have a word you know like god made this a man for me but i also feel like that's why we got to a point to where it was like why he feel like family all of a sudden and because he felt like family, all of a sudden, it was easy to love him like family. But then when you're trying to break generational curses, now you're looking at your family crazy, okay? Breaking generational curses is not easy. It's not for the weak. You will indeed be can't come against, opposed, talked about, slandered, mistreated by the people carrying the curse. It makes sense, don't it? Like, what else would we expect? But I know that it could also be very heartbreaking so one i want to encourage y'all to go read my facebook post from this morning it is my name megan michelle just go find my latest post i want to encourage you to go read that if you're dealing with stuff with your family specifically okay and i hope we can talk about that in detail on my next live all right but for right now for this morning what i want to leave y'all with is for some of you for those who it's for you know if it's for you you might have had a painful week last week with your family you pushed through y'all have acquired new land you have acquired new land so remember i told y'all i just recently had a dream and it wasn't just like i was where the general generational curses be and i don't have no control but now all of a sudden i'm kicking things out exactly y'all have acquired new land god has expanded your territory and i really feel like the expansion comes in with the obedience like he can give you more because he know he's not going to give y'all more and them same curses are going to keep running through he's giving y'all more so that you can help other people so that y'all can be a safe place for other people so y'all have acquired new land and this probably feels like a groundbreaking ceremony i had to look it up because i kept hearing it okay so i want to read to y'all what happens at a groundbreaking ceremony real real quick all right so a groundbreaking ceremony this event is a symbolic gesture that brings together project stakeholders contractors and the community to celebrate the beginning of something special so it's bigger than you it wasn't just about you it wasn't just about you and your family okay y'all are assigned to territory and this brings everybody together the people who are going to build the people who have invested into this i.e god our father in heaven okay and it brings everybody together to celebrate the beginning of something special and i pray that after the week we had last week that y'all feel that this is the beginning of something special it is new if you miss my prayer this morning that can also be found on instagram and facebook okay and i just kept thanking him for new beginnings that's why you're in the middle of a groundbreaking ceremony so this should be a joyous occasion this christmas shall be a celebration for you all might have been a little ugly but i have total faith that it will be celebratory okay that by the time we get to christmas <laughs> A successful groundbreaking ceremony paints a picture of a future. Mm, thank you, Lord. Right? Jeremiah 29 and 11 been heavy on me this morning, okay? He has plans to prosper you, to give you a future and hope, not to harm you. And it, and it could have felt like, no, ain't no way you planted me over here to hurt me. No, just like with your spouse. I didn't plant you over there to hurt y'all, but I planted y'all together so that y'all could defeat the things on the bloodline together. Don't think for five seconds your union, your marriage, your yokeness, your oneness with your spouse does not affect your family because it does, okay? It was to give y'all a hope. 
in a future and not just for y'all's bloodlines, but for y'all's community, y'all's territory. The enemy is so mad. Like I just heard the Holy Spirit say that while I was talking. He is so mad, but I need you to know that. So in those moments where it's hard, in those moments where God wants a yes and you like the last thing I'm finna give you is a yes because I'm getting beat up by all of it, God. I feel the weight of all of it, God. How do you exchange for light burdens? That was the last video, right? I want this to encourage you to keep giving him your yes. Yes, I'm talking to me because sometimes he'd be like, I need your yes. And I'm like, yeah, no. Okay, because there's no way I'm fighting this hard for people who are trying to kill me. That's what it feels like, right? It's warfare. It's the enemy. It's the enemy moving through people you love. The enemy hates you, okay? Um, but a successful groundbreaking ceremony paints a picture of a future that a community can envision, can envision being eager to step into and he's not just leaving it right there okay we're not just having this groundbreaking ceremony we haven't just acquired new land and that's it we can let our guard down we can let our defenses down absolutely not you have to acquire the land you celebrate it you break the new land because now you're about to start a new construction now you're about to start a new project you still have work to do cues august alcina work to do okay might not always be easy might run into some problems i'm thinking of dr jolene and how she talks about when she'd be renovating and doing new stuff exactly right but you will still have the favor of god on you while you're doing that if he brought y'all this far if he got you to the point to where you can get the new land i'm quite confident he can get us to the next steps right so there's still work to do. You still have to build. You still have to construct. You still have to cultivate. You still have to grow up to maintain. Remember for like over a year we were doing the um, yard analogy with my daddy named Yard. It had to grow up so they could be consistently maintained right. And then even after everything is built, you still have to upkeep. You still have to protect. You still have to defend. Don't let your guard down no more. And I really feel like I was talking to myself right there. I felt that real heavy. Don't let your guard down any more. If God has blessed you with this new land, if God has blessed you with that partner, right? If Even if it's real land or we're just talking about spiritually, if God has blessed your family with this new territory, thank him for that and protect it. Thank him for that and keep allowing him to expand upon the vision that he's giving you all and bring in newness and let it be a safe place for other people. So don't think for five seconds what me and this man went through is not going to, it already helps other people, right? But that it won't continue to help other people. And same with your family. Y'all didn't go through all of that to just go through all that. To not have a story where God gets the glory or to not become a place where other people feel safe and seen and heard and helped. Do you get what I'm saying? If I can see that in my own individual faith walk, if I can see that with my union, if I can see that with my family, it's like that across the board. Now, for those of you who don't know, because we just recently shared it on Instagram, my little sister is engaged to be married. That is groundbreaking for this generation, for my family. That is new land. That is a cause for celebration. That is a reason for all of us to get together and turn up because we're starting a new thing for this generation. Do you get what I'm saying? So that's a really good like on time example. But every time there's breakthrough in your family, in your life, within you, in your marriage, that is a cause of celebration for the whole community. That's why I'm like, I feel like heaven is rejoicing. I felt like that leading up to all the warfare. I'm like, heaven is rejoicing. I know heaven is rejoicing, right? Because it's a breakthrough. So for those of you, you may feel like me. I felt breakthrough before, but I ain't never felt it like this. This is different. And that's why I want to go live. This is what it feels like when you defeat a generational curse. So all that hate you felt is because God was ushering you into the place where the curse is no longer there. You have defeated a curse. So yeah, you felt all the hate. You felt all the trauma. You felt all the wounds from over the years. But that's what it feels like. So imagine how Jesus felt on the cross, right? He, he took all that on. All of that on. You might have to be that person. You might have to be that person, okay? In your marriage, in certain ways, I'm going to say that, in certain ways, because humility would do that. You might have felt all the way in one area, but your spouse feels he He, she might be feeling it in another way than you are. And same with your family. You may have felt all the pressure in one area, all the weight in one area, but it was gonna be a blessing to all of y'all and vice versa. Your siblings may carry it in a way that you never have to and you never had to. Do you get what I'm saying? So 
Here's to us being mindful, all that. I really feel like I just, I hear like a cheers. I hear celebration in the spirit, like cling, you know, like this is a joyous occasion. This is acquiring new land. Nope, wasn't always pretty. Nope, didn't always feel good. But think about all the territory that Jesus rose with and all the power and authority that he had because he took all that on. He took the weight of all of that on. Do you get what I'm saying? And as long as we exchange with him, we can have those light burdens while we're taking it on. I cried a lot last week. But prior to the crying because it hurt, I was crying because I felt something coming. Then I was crying because something came. Then I was crying because of the warfare. Now I'm crying because, ooh, we beat it. Oh my gosh. The devil can never, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. The devil, the devil can never take that from us again. It ain't no Jesus got up with all power and oh, now the enemy can do. No, because <laughs> once you got up, you got up. <laughs> That's the end of it, right? The progress you've made it's progress that cannot be taken away. When you make progress in the Lord, nobody can take that progress away from you. Nobody can take this breakthrough away from you. Nobody can take this healing away from you. The miracles are coming in. And I'm proud of y'all for pushing through. And if you don't feel like how I feel today, know that a time will come, a day will come where you understand and you feel exactly what I am saying to you right now. It's been a long time coming, but I knew change was going to come. And I hope we can go live and we can talk about some of these things a little bit more. In a little bit more detail. Okay. So I love you all very much. I really do. I am so grateful that I was able to go into the future in the spirit and bring back this Meg. I really like her. And my sister says she likes her too. We can all tell the difference, right? But that don't mean I'm perfect. That don't mean I'm not still struggling, having my days, having my moments. But with him, I can always have a pink Monday get in the room. I know what anxiety feels like. Paralyzing, de debilitating anxiety feels like. I know what that depression feels like. I know what it feels like to not be excited about a new day. But I'm not in that place anymore. And I want to help as many people as I can, as many women as I can, not be in that place anymore. That's what I'm saying. You think I went through all that, all those nights of crying all those times I was contemplating suicide. You think I went through all of that to not be able to be a safe place for people now to help them now? That's what I'm doing Pink Mondays for. And it's going to be jam-packed with a ton of things. Okay, so pray about it. I hope to see you in the room at the beginning of the year. But every day can be a Pink Mon Monday. And after a, a moment where it's really, really blue, I know somebody who can help you turn it pink and help you be that in the life of those around you. My nephew told me the sweetest thing last night. I, there's two types of people, right? And he was like, but you're the type of person who supports others. Thank you. I feel very seen right now, nephew. <laughs> right? Thank you, God, for speaking to me through him. But that's what I want to do in the lives of everybody. So whether you just get that support from me on YouTube like this, God bless you. And I'm happy to have been of service. But if you want coaching, group coaching one-on-one, -on -one, you know where to come. Okay, so I love y'all. You've acquired new land. It's a groundbreaking ceremony. This is what it feels like to break generational curses. This is what it feels like. Okay, God bless you. The devil man, he, knows he can't do nothing about it. The progress you've made in Christ is progress that cannot be taken away. Not from you, not from you and your spouse, not from you and your family, not from y'all and y'all's territory. It's up and it's stuck. See y'all the next few uploads.